What's up everybody? Welcome back to Building Boulder. Today we're going to show you how we're drilling piers. We're going to walk you around, show you all the different things on site with rebar, utilities, storm. There's a ton of stuff to show you today. A lot of new developments happening here at Boulder. Let's get started. We got some new stuff happening here at Boulder. We're finally not just digging in the dirt. So today we're gonna show you all the new developments. It's been a few weeks since we've taken you here on site. Big thing happening today is we are drilling piers. 18 feet down, filling it with rebar, filling it with concrete. It's all about foundations today. It's actually a big day because if you drill the pier and they hit water, that's a bad thing. It requires us to change plans. We're going to lose time. It's going to cost more. So we are holding our breath that as they drill these piers, they stay dry and that we do not find water because that's not what we want. So we've got a lot of piers today. We're only pouring probably four or five. I say we, I'm not doing anything. I'm just filming it all. So you can see they've got this massive drill bit. And actually this is the smallest drill bit of the three. They've got an 18 inch, a 24 inch, and a 36 inch drill bit in total that they're gonna be using. Today we're doing the 18 inch, so it's a small drill bit. They're going 18 feet deep. And so you can see here where they start drilling, they just go straight down and every two to three feet, they pull the drill bit back out because it gets clogged with clay and dirt and they have to knock it off as you can see. And so basically the stages of this, once they drill the hole, they got to take these rebar cages. You can see all these rebar cages that they've already made and they're going to put them down into the hole and then fill it with concrete. Hopefully we'll stay around long enough today to be able to see that. First drill right here. satisfying to watch. Look at this drill bit. This one's like 24 inches wide. Dude, that thing is huge. And that's the beast. There's that 36 inch. Look at the size of that drill bit. That's going to be awesome. I think 36 inches in diameter. It's going to hold the front entry structure up. So when you see a front entry structure, you'll know down below that is a massive pier foundation. Uh, now let's take you around and show you the site. Some of the cool things happening underground, sewer, water, storm, all that sort of, sorts of utility stuff is all going in. The Pearson's going to give us a tour. Check it out. That's the sewer pipe coming through. Wow. Dude, check that out. I was just told you have the most important job. Make sure it flows downhill. Yeah. You're doing good work. Thank you. That stuff flowing downhill is very important. Oh, man. That's a manhole. That's a manhole. And then up there where that pipe in, that's where the plumber will take it from there into the restroom. It's right on the edge of the, edge of the building there. So when we say manhole, like someone could climb in there. Yep. For what purpose? Go down there and check on things, take samples, all sorts of good stuff. I wouldn't call that good stuff. No. <laughs> Pretty nasty job. That's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Wow, that is crazy. These are the piers that they're drilling over there. They will put some in the ground today and pour some concrete this afternoon. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you see the small ones? Yep, those are the small ones for those ones they just poured. Yep. These are probably the 24 inch piers. Yep. And that big stuff over here is probably the one in the 36 inch. Dude, look at that. A big, big rebar right here. How big is this rebar? So these are number nines. Wow. So you take that number and you divide it by eight, and that's the diameter. So this is nine eighths or one eighth, inch into one eighth of an inch thick. Dang. So those over there are like number four. So those are four eighths of an inch thick. So that's it's, it's pretty big. No doubt. Pretty big rebar. So if you were to go into one of those little storm drains, that's basically that's what you're getting into. Yeah. Dude, that's some serious storm water to be able to go through there. Oh yeah, this is the blaster arena right here. Yeah, we're in the blaster arena, coming soon. Hey, that is big building, 66,000 square feet. It's gonna be awesome. All right, now they are about to drill the Bell Pier. Now the Bell Pier takes this device 
it's got these wings and it comes in when it goes down when it starts to spin the wings kick out and create this bell I'll show you a picture of kind of what an engineering plan of a bell pier looks like but that's what they're about to do is put this little drill bit on the end with wings to create the bell effect at the bottom <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. So when it hits the bottom, that's what's going He'll check it. What are you looking for? Like the diameter of it? Yeah. 15. It's too dry. It's too uh, sandy, basically, right? Yeah. Oh, not good news. We didn't find water, but it's too sandy. It's caving in. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. So, so basically, what it is from the top of it is caked up. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. So you may notice I am wearing a different hard hat, different T-shirt. That's because today's a totally different day from what you just saw. I don't know if you heard that at the end of that little clip, the guy working said, no bueno, and then I cut. What happened on the last day was we were trying to do bell piers and the bells at the bottom, when they go down and they do that little thing that spins, they were all caving in. They weren't holding like they should. So for the past week or so, we had to go back our engineering. We had to go back to the contractor and we had to make a change to go with what's called a straight shaft. So instead of that little bell at the bottom, they're actually going straight shaft all the way down. So now it's a deeper hole that's straight the whole way down as opposed to 18 feet then bell. Now they're going 35 feet straight down, uh, which quite a bit of money on that change. That was very expensive, no bueno that you heard. But that's why we're in a totally different outfit because it's a totally different day. But let's pick it back up because now we're drilling piers, we're back at it and stuff is happening in a good way. Let's go check this out. This is cool, you're gonna like this. Look at that rebar cage, 35 feet long, just lifting it right up. That is awesome. Piers are going down, so we like that 35 feet of rebar. I gotta drop it right on in that hole. These foundations are no joke. Put those little rollers on, so when it goes down, it just rolls right down. That is so cool. It comes. Look at that. Well, it was 35 feet in the air. Now all going underground. Wow, that's deep. Man, you gotta be careful walking around here because we covered these holes up, but man, you're not looking the right way. Fall right down. There's an electrical trench. A lot of electrical's gonna run through that right to the center of the building. We got a big electrical little panel right in the middle of the building so we can get everything powered that needs to be powered. Check that hole out. I don't know if you can get perspective on that. That's my foot. My foot is about 12 inches long. That hole is 36 inches in diameter. That thing is huge. Do not, do not walk around here without paying attention. You fall in that hole, that's bad news, bad news. That ain't gonna happen. But wow, that hole is massive. Oh, look, that rebar's in there. That is sweet. You think we can borrow their flashlight and look down one of those super deep holes? All right, Pearson's gonna, Pearson's gonna show us the 36 diameter hole. This one's got rebar in it. How deep is this one? This one's probably 30, 31. Wow. Put it down, a little bit of water that they'll pump out. Yep, we saw them pumping it out. <laughs> that is yep. a serious pier. They got that rebar in. About to pour it. Here it comes. There's our piers. That is all concrete now. Thanks for the tour, Pearson. Subscribe and like.